guys? It's T here from Teeny Daily, and today we're doing our first Valentine's look, but it's our Rebel Valentine's, yeah! So this look, this work for work, this look was requested, and I love the idea. It's not anti-Valentine's, it's just like really glam Rebel Valentine's look. So like, what do you want to do if you don't want to look really girly, and at the same time you want to be glam? And I was like, ah, oh, that's genius. So we're calling this look the Rebel Valentine's look. I am totally in love with this look, you guys. It's super rocky and edgy, but at the same time, it's so glam. Like, you can wear just this look out with like a gorgeous dress, or you could also flip this lip out for a nude lip and then make it totally like red carpet ready. I love it, I love it. Look at this eyes. But before we continue, you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become an official Teeny family member and so you don't miss out on any more of my makeup tutorials and our other Valentine's looks coming up, you guys, and all our videos in between, all our hauls and all that other stuff in between, you guys. It's awesome madness here at Teeny Daily. <laughs> all right, guys, let's get started on showing how I got this Valentine's Rebel makeup look. So we're gonna go in with the shadow shields, you guys. You could just use tape. You could just use tape. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I like the shape that they make, so that's why we're gonna use these. How romantic can we get, you guys? We're going in with the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So romantic going in with this palette. I don't know, I just feel romantic. Like it's all pink and velvety. So we're going in with this burnt orange shade right here. Picking up a crease brush from Be A Small, the rose gold collection, we're gonna pop that in our crease. Since this is such a deep, smoky eye, you guys, we really wanna build up that crease. That way it blends very nicely the black into our, you know, skin tone and our eyebrow. Hey okay, guys, picking up a lighter, fluffier croissant brush. <laughs> a croissant. I was just thinking of a croissant and crease brush to put them together. We have a croissant, you guys. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and pick up the shade right here, golden okra, okra, okra. I'll get what I'm trying to say. And we're going to put that on the tip top of that burnt orange shade to really make sure that it blends in. All right, you guys, let's go in with the Glam Metals palette from Crown. We just got this in our BoxyCharm. And y'all know I was I was super pumped to, to use this. Can you talk to Fanny? We're going in with the shade right here called The Wicked. Oh, it's just so wicked. Oh, she's so fine. Oh, take that in the crease. We're gonna deepen that crease, deepen that crease, deepen the crease. Yeah. Take it into the crease. We're gonna deepen that crease, deepen that crease, deepen the crease. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and take the NYX gel liner in the shade Jet Black. Oh, the fun part, you guys. So we're gonna pick that up on the small angled brush from e.l.f. And we're going to apply it to our outer crease right now. We wanna bring that down to where the shadow shield is. And then we're gonna take that up. And then fill it in. As if we were making a giant wing, y'all. <laughs> Now let's go in with black metal from the Glam Metals palette and set that bad boy. And I'm using a packing brush from the Be A Small Rose Gold collection to set that. Set it, baby. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, baby. Yeah, baby. So go ahead and set that. <laughs> All right, you guys, now carefully, we're going to take that black into the inner corner, y'all. Be careful with this. I know I have to tell myself to be careful with this because whoo, this can get messy real, real quick. So we're gonna kind of create the cut crease just like we did on this side, but for the inner corner. Mm -hmm. 
Then again, taking that packing brush and the block metal, we're going to set it. Alrighty guys, let's go in with the NYX Above and Beyond Concealer in the shade Light. We're gonna go ahead and pop that in the center of the eye bezels. Pick up this Primavera shade from the Anastasia Renaissance palette. And we're going to pop that right on there. I'm going to keep doing that back and forth until it's completely blended and also do this eye bezel over here. I took some hard candy liner in the shade gold and I just popped that on top of the already gold we put on there. And I think it just adds a little bit more shimmer to you to it, you guys. I really like the way it looks. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and take these shadow shields off. Oh, oh my gosh. That's one thing you can't say, man. They do stick really well. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I feel like I got a facelift. Woo! All right, you guys, for a big eye look, we have to have big lashes. So I'm going with the Lash Couture Lashes in Gala. Look at these bad boys, oh my gosh. These could lift you up, up to the high heaven, y'all. <laughs> Literally give you wings. <laughs> ah! I'm using my Duo Eyelash Adhesive to apply them, y'all. It's a little makeup trick, you guys, to save time. While the glue is getting tacky on the eyelashes, I will go in and do my inner highlight. So we're gonna go ahead and take Vermeer. Vermeer. It tastes like Vermeer. <laughs> the shade right here. Take this inner corner brush from the Rose Gold collection from Be A Small and pop that in the inner corner. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> it's so pretty. Woo! Look at that, you guys. Lashes for the Alrighty guys, it's time to do the face before we finish up with the eyes and do all the mascara and the lower lash line and all that business. First, I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish in Radiance, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love the glow this gives me. Look at that, look at that. <sighs> now, of course, we're going in with the Dr. Brandt's Pores No Mores. Right on those pores, y'all, make them disappear. Make them get the hell out of your life. Exercise them pause. All right, so this has been my new go-to, you guys. I have been mixing my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Y445 giving me a flawless finish, you guys. Flawless finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my face using my dampened Real Techniques button. Look at this coverage, you guys. Oh, I love this combination. This is my new favorite foundation combination. So y'all already know the drill. I'm going in with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium 30. And then I use my designated Concealer Real Technique sponge to blend it out. So we wanna be careful with this just because we already have our eyes done. Y'all, I am not clean. Normally I would just be blended to the high heavens, not even worrying about a care in the world. But we do have to be a little careful now. <laughs> Alright guys, before I do my concealer up here, I want to go ahead and do my eye bristles. So I'm taking my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the shade medium. We need to get another one of these, you guys. We are hitting pan like crazy. Only $3 and this is still my ultimate favoritest eyebrow freaking product, y'all. And I've tried some of the really high and expensive ones and they're good, they're really good. But this is just as good and I'm like, for $3. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know what I mean, y'all? 
all right? So I fill it in going with the growth of the hair. Don't go against your hair growth, y'all. Then you'll just end up looking like Bernie. I met Bert. <laughs> I met Bert from Sesame Street. You, you all know what I mean. Uh, so I don't worry too much about being overly clean when I'm doing my eyebrows because what really cuts it and gives it that, gives it that definition that y'all are like, oh my gosh, Tiff, I'm loving, is the concealer. Then I go back in with this detailed flat brush from Wet n Wild and I carve them out. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna finish carving out this eyebrow, blend out the concealer, and then I'm gonna set everything with da da da, the Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Loose Powder, and I'm going to use my dampened Real Technique sponge and set that all. All right, we're going in with the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, and I'm going to be taking that medium contour shade right here. Yeah, y'all can see I use that a lot. Picking up this big old bristle brush from BS Small in the gold collection, and we're gonna go ahead and bronze it up, baby. Bronze it up, baby. Alrighty guys, like I said, I would be using it in our next tutorial. We're taking the pure bronze and brightening palette ah, in Dreamer, you guys. Look at this shade. Oh, it's so delicious. Okay. <laughs> and I'm taking my round blush brush from the Rose Gold Collection, BS Small again. You guys, I love the brushes. I freaking love the brushes. Those Elf and Wet n Wild brushes are my favorite. This also gives me a little bit of highlight, a little glow. All right guys, last but not least, the lips that we're gonna go in with. Let's go ahead and go in with the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Video Vixen. Ooh. All right guys, and then lastly, we're gonna take the Catrice Prep and Prime, and we're going to go ahead and set our entire look because I don't want this to be such a matte look. I kinda wanna add a little glow to it, you guys, so let's do that. Alrighty, you guys, and this is the finished look. Oh, I'm so, so loving it. I feel so rebellious. Like, I just wanna go out and ride my motorcycle right now, but it's freaking 32 degrees. So probably not today, you guys, but yet you have this hints of glamour, like you can glam it up if you want to, but you can rubble it up with a choker and a really cool like rock ring, you know what I mean? It's, it's a kitty cat ring, by the way, but yeah, it makes me look rocker and cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> at least in my mind. <laughs> As always, all the products that I've used in this video will be listed down in the description box below in case I forgot to mention anything or in case you guys just want to see that, that'll be down there, as well as all of our social media handles, you guys, and we're on Snapchat every single day, and I'm posting my 100 days of makeup looks oh, on Instagram, so don't forget to follow us, me, there, y'all. Don't forget to follow us there. <laughs> I hope this look inspires you guys to just remember that you don't always have to fit the norm. The pink, the glittery, the, all of that stuff, there's nothing wrong with that. Y'all know I'm a glitter pinky girl, but you can also rock Valentine's Day with the rocker look too. <laughs> Alrighty guys, as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Do something that makes you smile today. You guys stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day.